Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to solve the given recurrence equation by using back substitution method. So this back substitution method is one of the uh, method which we are using to find out the efficiency of recursive algorithm. Okay. So first we will write the recurrence relation. So that is T of n equal to T of n minus 1 plus 7. This is first equation. Okay. Now we are going to find out the value of T of n minus 1. So T of n minus 1 means we have to substitute in the place of n. We are going to substitute this n minus 1. So if you substitute in the place of n minus 1, if you substitute uh, sorry in the place of n if you substitute n minus 1 what happens here plus 7 so you will be getting t of n minus 2 plus 7 plus 7 one more 7 also you will get because this is actually n minus 1 in the place of n oh, I am sorry plus 7 that's it in the place of n we will substitute n minus 1 so you will be getting t of n minus 2 plus 7 this will be considered as second equation now we are going to find out the value for t of n minus 2 so in the place of n we have to substitute n minus 2 so if you do like this n minus 2 minus 1 plus 7 so you are going to get t of n minus 3 plus 7 this will be considered as a third equation. So what will be the next iteration? T of n minus 3 which is nothing but T of n minus 4 plus 7. Right. So it will goes on uh, up to some constant values. So now you have to substitute equation number 2 in equation number 1. So if you substitute here, so now t of n equal to, that is equation number 1, t of n minus 1. So what is the value of n minus 1? So that you have to substitute here. That is t of n minus 2 plus 7 and this one plus 7. So here we have 1 plus 7 so that we are writing. So t of n minus 2 plus 2 into 7. 2, 7. t of n minus 2 plus 2 into 7 right so next one is you have to substitute this third equation in this step now t of n value is this one so now you're going to substitute this third equation in this step so if you substitute this third equation so what happens here t of n equal to t of in the place of t of n minus 2 you have to substitute this value so you'll be getting t of n minus 3 plus 7 plus 7 right or uh, 2 into 7 already we have 2 into 7 so here t of n minus 3 and one more 7 will be added so 3 into 7 so this is how we are just getting for if you substitute all these equation in the previous step so that is what back substitution if you substitute 2 in 1 and 3 in the equation whatever we got here so if you substitute so if you for the next iteration it will goes on t of n minus 4 plus 4 into 7 so what could be the pattern we are getting so here if if whatever the values you are getting here n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 like that you are this constant values also be changed according to the values whatever you are substituting so t of n minus 3 means 3 into 7 t of n minus 4 means 4 into 7 so it goes on up to k steps right so we are just writing this constant value as k so if it is a k value then how can we write this equation t of n equal to t of n minus k plus k into 7 so t of n minus k plus k into 7 so it because it is actually going for a k step so that's why we are writing like this and now we are actually uh, dealing with this constant value so initially we got n n minus 1 and again n minus 2 and then n minus 3 n minus 4 like that it goes on so what could be the next iteration will be n minus 5 your next iteration will be n minus 6 so it will goes on up to n minus 1 values 
so the constant value will goes on up to n minus 1 value so what you have to do uh, substituting this k value as n minus 1 if you substitute this k value as n minus 1 so how we are getting this n minus 1 because your constant value starts from 1 and it goes on up to n minus 1 so that is what I am telling n minus 1 so here if you look at this in the first uh, equation so you got it as n minus 1 and in the second equation you got it as n minus 2 the term whatever you got in this inside this bracket that is what I am telling in the third equation you got it as n minus 3 and in the next iteration you will be getting n minus 4 and in the next iteration you will be getting n minus 5 so it goes on up to n minus 6 n minus 7 like that so it goes on up to that constant value only that constant value it starts from 1 so it will go up to n minus 1 values isn't it so that's why I am going to substitute for this k value as n minus 1 because k is nothing but that constant value so I am going to substitute this k as n minus 1 here so what you will get that is uh, t of n minus n minus 1 okay plus n minus 1 in the place of k you have to substitute n minus 1 so here n n will be will get cancelled so uh, which is nothing but n minus n plus 1 plus n minus 1 into 7 so n n will be cancelled so t of 1 plus n minus 1 into 7 so in the uh, recurrence equation so we have given what could be the value of base condition if n value is 1 so t of uh, 1 which is nothing but 3 t of 1 which is nothing but 3 so that value you have to substitute here 3 plus 7 into n minus 1 so this is actually the base condition right and if you want to write the um, asymptotic if you want to represent the time complexity in asymptotic notation then you have to um, omit the constant value so whatever the constant value you are getting you should omit it and uh, only the n terms you have to represent in asymptotic notation for example big O of n so this is actually the time complexity of this particular recursive algorithm right so how to analyze the recursive algorithm using back substitution method only in this way we can able to perform thank you